Typically, I don't like shooting on photo lenses for two main reasons. The first reason is lack of hard stops. This isn't such a big deal if you're using a traditional follow focus system with the knob mounted on the rig itself because there's no calibration necessary. But if you're using a remote follow focus system, it needs to be calibrated so you don't overshoot and then your knob won't hit the end of the focus throw in the opposite direction. The second reason is lack of gears for your focus, iris, and zoom. Focus being the most important one because it's the most common. And while hard stops is something that needs to be built into the lenses, focus gears can be added as a third party solution. Many companies have solutions for this, but they aren't quite as elegant and integrated as the gears from followfocusgears.com. Now, I'm just going to stop here and say that I'm not sponsored by followfocusgears.com. They don't even know who I am, and they have no idea that I'm making this video. I just personally think that their products are great, and I wanted to share them with all of you. So, with that out of the way, I will say that the great thing about these gears is that they're seamless gears all the way around, meaning that there are no bumps or protrusions that can get in the way of your follow focus. They're clean and they allow a full 360 degrees of rotation, again, without any obstructions to your follow focus. They do this by what I would imagine is custom 3D printed follow focus gears that take into account the measurements of different lenses. They have a huge variety of gears for many different lenses, so you can most likely find a gear for your specific lens. They can also do custom sizes if you submit the measurements of your lens through their website. And there's instructions how to measure your lenses on their website. They even have follow focus gears available in different colors like red, white, gray, green, orange, blue. Yeah, it's a lot. And on top of that, they have 80 millimeter adapters for standardizing all your lenses to fit your matte box properly. If you're using one of these 80 millimeter adapters, you're going to have to get one of their front caps. And these basically just fit on the front of the adapter, so at least you have a lens cap to protect the glass. When you get these gears, they come with instructions, a lens cloth, and a sticker. Here I have the 50 millimeter Sigma Art lens, the EF version, which I got recently for a job I was doing. I have a 50 millimeter cinema lens that I could have used as well as an 85 and a 135, but I didn't really feel like lugging these massive lenses around. So it was more about the convenience factor than anything. This is how the follow focus ring fits. It's very tight, but once installed, it feels like it's part of the lens construction. When installing this, you have to slip it on the back of the lens because it won't fit around the front. So make sure you have your lens caps on to prevent any damage to the glass. Once you slip it on, I find the best way to get it to fit properly is to hold it like this, pull a little bit, then rotate your lens 90 degrees and pull again in the same way, and just keep on repeating that. This will ensure that the gear slips onto the lens evenly, and you just repeat this until the gear is in the proper position. It's going to take a little bit of effort because it is really tight, but once you get it on there, you should be all set. And that's basically it. It doesn't have to fit 100% properly either. And what I mean by that is it doesn't have to sit over the focus ring 100%. Here you can see that on my Sigma 18 to 35. The fit is a little tight on this one, so I didn't want to force it into place. And you can see that it's hanging over the edge a little bit and it doesn't quite 100% fit around the focus ring, but if I pulled it a little further, it probably would. I just didn't want to force it into place. And I've had this gear on this lens literally for years and I haven't had a problem. So as long as it's on there, you shouldn't really have any issues. But I would say do your best to get it into place as much as you can. The gears on these are 0.8 pitch, so they work pretty much with all popular follow focuses out there. And here you can see the fit with it on the Tilda Nucleus M. Also on my Sigma 18 to 35, you can see the gear here for the zoom ring, which I've never really used in production with a follow focus unit or a zoom control rig like the Tilta Nucleus M, but it's nice to have anyway, and it actually makes grabbing the zoom ring a bit easier. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the Sigma 18 to 35 and the Sigma 50 millimeter art so that you can see how they compare. They pretty much look the same as far as follow focus rings go. So overall, I really like these focus rings. They really do feel high quality. And once you install them, they're extremely tight and they feel like they're 100% integrated with the lens. I haven't experienced any slipping or anything like that, which is great because that's definitely not something you want to go through if you're installing gears on your focus ring, because that'll just throw off the calibration and frankly, screw up your shot. And that's what I like about these. They're integrated so well once you install them that you actually forget that you installed an add-on to your lens and they actually feel like part of the lens build. There's really not much more you can ask for here. Anyway, if you're looking for gears for your photography lenses so that you can use a follow focus system, I would highly recommend followfocusgears.com. 
The selection is great, the quality is amazing, and I love that they even have step-up rings and adapters so you can convert the front of your photography lenses to 80 millimeter standard so that you could use them with most matte boxes like I have here with my wooden camera matte box and here with my bright tangerine Misfit Atom. If you're interested in these, all the links are in the description below. So check it out and I hope it helps. If you like this video, please like and subscribe so I can continue bringing you guys more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.